Hey guys, Brendan Productions here, and welcome to my seventh tutorial for Java programming. Um, this tutorial is actually going to be an introduction to object-oriented programming, which is how uh, most Java developers code anyway. Um, so, w the way object-oriented programming works is every item is actually its own object, and whenever you want to do something, uh, what you're going to do is call methods from that object. So um, you can create several different objects that each do several several different things and easily keep track of these because each object can have its own name. You'll see what I mean in a second. So I've created a class here in a new project file called Object Intro. That's pretty much because this tutorial is an intro to uh, object oriented program. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to create a sample object oriented um, class here and uh, for example uh, just because I have a water bottle sitting here, we're going to make an object that has a water bottle. Usually, uh, textbooks use examples like cars, and uh, you could fill up the gas on cars, drive a certain distance, yada yada. But I am actually going to um, just use water bottle because I want to be a little unique. Uh, by the way, if you're really planning on learning Java and need a textbook supplement to uh, these tutorials or any tutorials, I recommend Computing Concepts with Java Essentials, the third edition by Kay Horstman. Uh, it's actually really great for beginners and those just wanting to learn. So we're going to start right now with uh, actually creating a few methods. So the first thing we're going to need to do is um, when you have a water bottle, of course it's going to be filled with water. So we need to actually declare a variable that says how much water is in the water bottle. So we're going to say int water and uh, make it equal to zero because it starts with zero water. And uh, let's just say this water is in, uh, I don't know, liters. Uh, so I'm going to comment this as this is how much water is in the water bottle. Um, so we have a variable, a running variable, that keeps track of how much water is in the uh, water bottle. We're actually going to change it to T water to stand for total water, just in case. And um, now we need to make a few uh, methods. So the first thing we want to do when we get this water bottle is we want to fill it up or add water. So we need to type public, and normally we would type public static void when creating a method. However, when using object-oriented programming, and you know that a method is going to be used in a different project, which in this case it is, you do not need to type static. So we're just going to type public void add water. And then we're going to make a parameter called um, water, or amount. And then um, this is rather a simple method. Uh, so the user inputs, or not the user, you would input how much water needs to be added, and then you just add that to the total water. So total water equals the value of total water plus the amount added. Very simple addition. You have a total water, in this case it's zero, and then you're adding, let's say, five, so you're taking zero plus five, so you're setting zero equal to zero plus five, so now you have five total waters. So now we're going to create another method to subtract water, or in this case we're going to be drinking the water, and uh, int amount as well. And now we're going to say t water equals t water minus amount. So this is all pretty much just simple review, uh, just creating basic methods uh, that have parameters and basic math. Uh, as you can see here, we do the same thing as above, except we're using subtraction. So if t water is 5, then we're taking t water minus 5 minus the amount drinking. And now we're going to create one more uh, method, and this method will actually return the amount of water that's actually in the water bottle. So this is getting a little more advanced, but what we're going to type is actually public, and then the type of variable that needs to be returned, which in this case is an integer, and then get water. So this is going to get the amount of water that's actually in the water bottle, and then we just need to type return t water. All of this can be found in my previous tutorials if you need help with any of this. Um, this is actually from tutorial 5, I know that but offhand. I don't know uh, where custom methods are. I think that might be part 3 or part 4, possibly. But, okay. So now we have a basic object that's a water bottle. And um, we have three things it can do. Add water, drink water, and get water. 
So that's pretty decent for a water bottle, I guess. And um, now we actually need to add a thing called a constructor. Now, when you are actually creating this object, you are going to need to set it as a new type of this object. Now, in order to let this class know that you want to do that, you need to make a constructor. And there's no really other way to explain it because this is just how it is. In order to make a constructor, you need to type public and then the class name, which in this case is object intro. Uh, object intro. And then you want to open and close parentheses and then open brackets. And this is just going to be your default constructor. And now there's nothing you can do about this. This is just the way it is. Uh, that's just... Yeah. So when you're setting up a new um, water bottle, it will have the default amount of water of zero. However, uh, if you want to get a little more advanced and tell the program that there's water already in the water bottle, then you could set up a different constructor, public object intro, and this time we need a parameter, int water amount. So this is a different constructor. Uh, usually if you just call object intro in this other section we're going to be doing, then uh, it will create a new water bottle with the default amount of zero. However, if you insert a parameter, it'll actually set the existing water amount to the de or the specified water amount here, which we declare right here. So once you call it, it sets the variables, and we're good. So uh, object-oriented programming is kind of an abstract concept and very hard to explain just using words. Uh, so really there's nothing I can do to explain this further hopefully you caught on and if you have any more questions about it you can always PM me or anything like that so we have this um, object intro class right here and uh, currently it doesn't ha do anything uh, because it does not have a main as you remember from our tutorials well this is just going to be a uh, an object and we actually are going to use uh, another class to actually use this object so we're going to name this class object intro test in order to test our object intro code and this is where we're actually going to insert the good stuff so in order to actually execute something we need to type in public static void main and then string brackets args so this is where our code can actually be executed um, so the first thing we need to do is we actually need to create a new instance of this object intro now this is just going to be like declaring a variable. So let's just say we declare a variable like this. A string called x equal to hello. So we're going to use this as our sample. So the first thing we type whenever declaring a variable is the type of the variable. So in this case, our class name is object intro, so that's the type we are creating. Okay, and now is the custom name that we set for the variable. So in our case, it's I think it would be good if we set it to water bottle. And then we need to set it equal to a value. So our water bottle is actually going to be a new instance of this object intro class. So we can do this by simply typing new. This lets Java know that you're trying to create a new instance, but what are you trying to create an instance of? Object intro. Now, if you open up parentheses, this is where you can actually access the constructors. Um, if you remember, we had two constructors, a default constructor and then one where you could enter the existing amount of water. Well, the default constructor is activated if you leave these parentheses blank. However, if you type something inside of it, the other constructor is activated. Uh, so I'm just going to type a parameter of zero to make it clear that we create a new water bottle with zero water in it. Okay. So now we can actually delete this example, and we can start doing things with our water bottle. So the first thing we probably want to do is fill it up. So we can do this by typing in water bottle, which is the name we just declared right here, dot, and then it gives us the um, list of things that we have made. So for example, we've got add water, drink water, and uh, get water, the three things that we made, yeah. So we can type in add water, and then it immediately asks us for the amount. So, let's just say we added 100 liters of water. This is a big water bottle. And then we could comment, add 100 liters of water. And uh, now let's say we want to 
drink water. So um, let's say we drink 20 liters of water. Okay, so now that we have these set up, keep in mind that we are accessing it directly from the object intro right here. Um, so we have water bottle dot add water and then 100 as a parameter. As you remember, in our object intro, we actually set up a method called add water, and then in the parentheses, we have the parameter called amount, and this simply increases the water. We also have drink water, which uh, also has the parameter of the amount, which subtracts the total water, which we're simply calling right here. Now, finally, we're going to want the, to let the user know how much water they have left. So we can do this by typing system.out.println your remaining water level is and then we need to tell the user or get how much water is in the water bottle. So we type plus and then the amount of water, which we could type 80 because we can immediately do the math that 100 minus 20 is 80. However, we are going to type water bottle dot get water. And uh, that's it. Now all we need to do is semicolon that off and uh, we forgot to capitalize the W. So that's all we need to do. So we created a new water bottle right here, starting with zero liters of water. We added 100 liters. We drank 20. So now we should have a message that appears your remaining water level is 80. So let's test it out. So it says your remaining water level is 80. So it did work properly. We successfully created a new water bottle ob uh, object. We added some water, we drank some water, and we actually got the water. So this has been a short introduction on object-oriented programming. Uh, this is what you're going to be using mainly in other things as well. For example, I have set up a car class just like this water one um, where you have a constructor, some uh, miles per gallon, um, then you have a method for driving, a method for getting gas, and a method for adding gas to the car. So, uh, several other things as well, for example, students and their quiz scores, and uh, yes, also got some bank accounts type deals. Everything in Java relies around object-oriented programming. But, this has been the seventh tutorial of my Java programming system series. I hope you've enjoyed tutorial these tutorials. Oh my goodness. And please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate commenting, so please remember to do it. Thanks, and uh, thanks for watching. And remember, I am selling Minecraft codes for $10. Just PM me on YouTube. So thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day. Peace.